As we learned in the last lecture, we can have multiple modules in our Angular application. We can split the main app module into multiple modules and then configure those modules in app module. We call these modules as feature modules. Feature module simply means that these modules represent one single feature of our application. These feature modules will have related components, directives, services, etc. So in this lecture, let's go ahead and let's create one such feature module. So this is our Angular application from our previous section. In this Angular application, currently we are in the home page, which can be accessed by anyone. Now, in this Angular application, we also have a dashboard component. And to access the dashboard component, a user must be logged in. So here I'm going to log into this application using John Smith account. Let's specify the password. And let's click on this login button. And as soon as I log in, you see, I have been redirected to dashboard page. In this dashboard page, you can see all the tasks. Then you can also see the details of each task. You can also create a new task, fetch all the tasks from the database. And if you want, you can also delete all the tasks from the database. So if I go back to VS Code, there in this app folder, you will see that we have this dashboard folder. And in the dashboard folder, we have all the components related to dashboard. So what we want is for this dashboard feature, for this dashboard page and all the actions which we are performing inside that dashboard page, we want to create a separate module. Okay, because this dashboard can be one feature of our application. And for that feature, we want to have a separate module. For that, inside this dashboard folder, I'm going to create a new file. So basically, if you see for this app component, which is the root component of our application, we have this app module.ts file in the app folder. Now we are going to create a module for the dashboard feature. So that's why I'm going to create the module file inside this dashboard folder. So here let's call it as dashboard.module. So this is the convention that in the module file we use dot module and then it is a TypeScript file. So we are going to use this .ts extension. Now here we are going to create and export a class and let's call this class dashboard module. And as we have learned in our previous lectures, in order to make a class a module class, we need to decorate it with ng module decorator. And in order to use this ng module decorator, we also need to import it from angular slash go. So here we are importing ng module and then we are using it. And to this, we need to pass a metadata object. And in that metadata object, we can specify properties like declaration, exports, imports, providers, etc. Now here, inside this dashboard component, first of all, we have our dashboard component. Then we also have this create task component. And we also have this task detail component. So these three components, we want to make it as part of this dashboard module. So we want to declare them inside this dashboard module. Now, where do we declare a component? We declare it inside the declarations array. So here I'm going to add a declarations array. And in there, I'm going to specify dashboard component. I'm going to specify create task component. And I'm also going to specify task detail component. Okay. And we are also importing them here. Now we can go to app module. And from there, we can remove the dashboard component, create task component and task detail component. Because now we are creating it. We are declaring it inside this dashboard module. Let's save the changes here. And also since we have removed it from the declaration section, we can also remove it from imports. So let's remove it from here. And let's also remove this task detail component import. Let's save this file. And let's also save this dashboard module.ts. Now we have this dashboard module where we are declaring this dashboard component, create task component and task detail component. But Angular will not know about these components because they are not declared inside this app module. Right. Angular will only scan this app module because this is our main module file. And we are bootstrapping this main module file in main.ts here. So Angular is only going to scan app module. 
and in the app module we do not have dashboard component create task component or task detail component so angular will not know about those components so what we need to do here is from here we need to export all these components so we are going to export the dashboard component the create task component and task detail component okay and then we are going to import this dashboard module in the app module so in the imports array we are also going to specify dashboard module and to use this dashboard module we also need to import it and now when we are importing the dashboard module from this dashboard module we are exporting these components so now angular when it will scan this app module.ts file it will find this dashboard module it will go to this dashboard module and from there it will scan these components also okay and again angular will only recognize those components which we are exporting from here let's say if i am not exporting this task details in that case when we are importing this dashboard module here with this dashboard module we will only get dashboard component and create task component we will not get this task detail component if we don't specify it here so that is very important to understand whatever we are importing from here only those components will be received and recognized here in the app module okay so with this again let's save this app module.ts file let's also save this dashboard module.ts file and now if we go to our application let me reload this you will see we have a lot of errors let me close this here and let's open developer console and there let's go to console tab so you will see we have lot of errors if i scroll up here you will see that we have an error can't bind to ng class since it isn't a known property of div and we have this error in the dashboard component.html now why do we have this error basically this ng class ng if ng for and ng style these are the directives which is provided by this browser module so we are importing this browser module in the app module but we are not importing it in the dashboard module now you might say we have already imported it in the app module then why do we need to import it in the dashboard module that's because as we have learned earlier each module in angular is independent of each other they do not communicate with each other so whatever dependency these components or directives will have we have to specify those dependencies in that feature module itself even though in the app module we have this browser module already imported this module this dashboard module does not know about it because there is no communication between dashboard module and app module so what we also need to do is let's go ahead and let's add import array and there we are going to import the browsers module now if we import browsers module here apart from providing the directives like ng4 ngf ng style and ng class browser modules also does some application startup work that has to run only once so we are already importing it in the app module and if we also import it in the dashboard module in that case that browser module will be called twice and as i mentioned the browser module also does some startup work and that should happen only once so here instead of importing browser module we can also import common module and we need to import it from angular/common and this common module also provides us directives like ng if ng for ng class and ng style okay so now if we save the changes let's go to our application and let's reload the page and we still have some more errors let's see what is the error another error we have is app loader is not a known element and we have this error in the dashboard component so in the dashboard component we are also using our loading indicator for that we have created a component called loader component right so in the dashboard component we are using loader component but we have not declared that loader component here so this dashboard component also needs the loader component in order to work but we have not declared that loader component here it is declared in the app module.ts here but we have not declared in the dashboard module so as i mentioned all modules works independently so we might want to use the loader module in the app module 
but we also want to use it in the dashboard module so here also we need to import that loader module so that other components which depends on that loader module can use it so let's also declare this loader module in our dashboard module.ts let's save the changes again let's go to our application we still have some error let me reload the page okay now you see we have this error no directive found with export as ng form now this ng form it is provided by forms module and we have this error in the create task component right so we have defined this create task component in dashboard module and that create task component depends on ng form directive and the ng form directive is provided by forms module so we also need to import forms module here so we have already imported common module now we also want to import forms module from angular slash forms so whatever third party library or anything we want to import we specify it inside this import array whatever we want to export from this module we specify it inside this export array and whatever components directives and pipes we want to use in our application we specify it inside the declarations array okay again let's save the changes let's go to our application let's reload the page one more time and now we have this error and it says this import contains error which may affect components that depend on this ng module so it basically it says this dashboard module which we are importing in the app module this dashboard module contains some error and the error is in the dashboard module we are declaring this loader component and if i go to app module there also we are declaring this loader component now keep in mind and it is very important to understand that we cannot declare a component or a directive or a pipe twice in our angular application currently we are declaring this loader component twice once in the app module.ts file and the second time in the dashboard module.ts and because of this we have an error in our dashboard module so we will see how we can fix this error in our next lecture but as we have learned in this lecture always remember that each module in our angular application is independent of each other they do not communicate with each other so whatever we want to use in a given module it has to be imported in that module the only exception is services and we will talk about it in detail in our coming lectures but always remember that whatever we want to use in a given module it must be imported in that module for example for this dashboard module we wanted to use this dashboard component this create task component this task detail component and loader component so we need to import all these components we need to declare all these components in the dashboard module itself then we also wanted to use this common module and forms module which is built-in module so that also we need to specify in the import array in this module even though they are already imported in the apps module so you can see in the apps module also the forms module and the browser module is imported so here we have browser module in the dashboard module we have common module because in the dashboard module also we want to use ng if ng for directive and so on so since we cannot use browser module twice we have used common module and this module also provide those directives okay but this forms module is common we are already importing it in the app module but since we want to use forms module in this create task component there also we need to import it because this dashboard module does not know about this app module what are the things we have imported in the app module all right in the next lecture let's go ahead and let's solve the problem which we are facing currently in our application this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day